For this video, we're going to look at finding properties of line segments. In particular, for the line between A is negative 3 comma 6 and B is negative 5 comma negative 4, let's find the slope, find the distance, and find the midpoint. Well, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It helps sometimes to label these are my x's, these are my y's, this is point one, this is point two. So y2, this is second y, y2 is negative four minus the first y, minus y6, sorry, minus y of six, all over x2 minus x1. What's x2, the second x, negative five, minus the first x, x1, negative three. Don't forget it's take away negative three, minus negative three. On the top, you get negative 10. On the bottom, minus 5. Minus a minus is a plus. And so you get negative 10 over negative 5 plus 3, which is negative 10 over negative 2. And you can simplify that or divide to get 5. The slope of that line is 5. The distance has its own formula. The distance formula is the square root of and we'll do x2 minus x1, all squared, plus y2 minus y1, all squared. So we'll use our same calculations. We'll check them again just to make sure we're right with slope. What I mean is we already did x2 minus x1, but let's check x2, that's negative 5, minus x1, minus negative 3. All that's squared plus y2, that's negative 4, minus y1, which is negative 6, all squared. And you see we get the same numbers, we're just using them in a different formula. This will be negative 5 plus 3 squared, and this will be minus 4 minus 6, which is negative 10, all squared. So inside those squares we should get the same numbers, which we do. This will be negative 2 squared, plus negative 10 squared, that's easy with 10 times 10. Negatives cancel each other out, get 100. So we end up with the square root of what's negative 2 squared, that's just 4. We end up with the square root of 400, sorry, the square root of 4 plus 100, that makes more sense, which is the square root of 104. Need a calculator for that? On your calculator, square root of 104. We'll round to two decimal places. So the distance between those two points is approximately 10.20. Let's put a rounding dot. We've got the distance, got the slope. Let's find the midpoint. Well, the midpoint formula is just add the x's together and divide by 2. Add the y's together and divide by 2. So, a little bit of different values this time, but nothing hard. Don't forget your brackets and your comma. I like to put them first. x1 plus x2. I'm looking back up here. My first x is negative 3. My second x is negative 5. I'll divide by 2. My first y is 6. My second y is negative 4. I'll divide it by 2. So, on the top, I get negative 8, and that's over 2. And for my y's, 6 plus negative 4, that's negative 2, all divided by 2. If I divide by 2, I'm done. The midpoint is negative 4, negative 1. So with these two points, I found the slope between them, and I found the distance between them, and I found the midpoint halfway between them.